Do not vote for anyone that looks like the current government, Anglican Bishop tells Nigerians. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A popular Anglican Bishop, Innocent Odu, has urged Nigerians not to vote for any candidate that looks like the current administration as president in 2023. In a video posted by African Independent Television, AIT, the bishop said Nigerians have suffered for nearly eight years and we cannot allow the ruling party to return to power in 2023. He added that it would be disastrous to allow the government to return to power. Bishop Odu said Nigerians must reject any government that looks like the current one. The cleric said that this current government must not reincarnate in 2023. He urged Nigerians to go for God-fearing people, those who are ready to serve, and not those who are ready to shuffle between Nigeria and the United Kingdom for medical treatment. The Anglican bishop asked the congregation to vote for a government that will respect the church because Christians have suffered enough in Nigeria. Well, well, well. Now who go tell Nigeria what to do? What to do to vote? What to do? Vote APC. Uh, well, uh, let me say. Let me say. Uh, let me say this. Uh, I like his own way of doing things. Though. He did not tell them to vote for this one and that one. <laughs> you don't show. You don't show the word to them. Now them go. No, as them go use decode them. You don't encode and give them. Now them go. No, as them go use decode them. You know, true, true. This current administration, I don't believe that anyone will come out. People pay follow people like me and you go come out second. They tell us, say, this administration did better. I don't believe it. So at the end of the day, eh, the man don't use smooth style telling people, say, make that vote wise thing they tell them, make them do. Now vote wisely because you no call anybody name. All right. That is a good one. No one needs to pretend anymore. Issues should be addressed in such ways. 90% of the young ones have no source of livelihood, and I expect all and sundry to embrace the Labour Party platform where you can challenge the president candidate to be to go into agreement with Nigerian youth that once they collectively vote you into power, jobs shall be created for all, financial empowerment made available for them. It's, is, it not just for, is it not just four years a term? If we did, did not honor their call, he'll be voted out in the next dispensation. Can Nigerians wake up for once? Let us deal with these good for nothing politicians. Atiku was the passenger for eight years, and what impact did he make? Rather, he than helping himself with a collective wealth and became a trillionaire overnight. His money grows like river. Let's move and, embr and embrace obedient movement. We move. Now, you know why I am liking or loving the way that we are politically active. And I'm also praying that we remain like this. This is not this should not be a one term or one time thing. No? This should be the way we are going to be reacting to political issues. You understand? This movement now is not supposed to grow cold. We are supposed to hold this fire and not let it burn away. We should hold on to this flame of, you know, political activeness so that even in the next, even after 20, beyond 2023, we would know, as in, the fire will still be burning and we can still use this flame to light up other things as well. You don't need to tell people whom to vote. Leader and elections are based on interest and conviction. It is one's own fundamental rights as a Nigerian. He's not telling them which, who to vote for. This thing not just persuade and tell make it here. He just gave his opinion. That is it. He did not bring a go and put over their head and say vote for this. He did not even call people's name they were going to be voting for. Now make them still use their now vote wisely. Now be the summary of waiting and come out the talk. True talk, a stick cannot pluck our two eyes in succession. A piece it belongs to history as far as peace-loving Nigerians are concerned. All right. The APC has been rejected and the PDP is never the solution to the APC. The president for Nigeria is the Labour Party at the moment. Mind the business and fix your church and recongregation. Those are the people he was talking to now. Person where he talks to make him mind the business. He was talking to his congregation and church. And he did not call anybody's name or any party's name. He's just telling them himself, in summary, to vote wisely. All right.
Good. Clear and the truth, but Nigerians are too full of personal, ethnic, and religious selfishness. <laughs> Even pastors stone politicians. Well, uh, this one is not a matter of pastors turning for politicians. This is just a political awakeness that everybody is supposed to be involved. I like the way most of the people who are, um, you know, who are clergymen are coming out to, you know, tell their people to come out to vote during the election this period. They should know that voting is not the same and having been uh, politically active is definitely not, you know, it's not going against the ways of God because some people are like, you know, politics is too dirty, a game for them to, to, you know, to play or a business for them to venture into. So it is only eight years that people have suffered. That is a lie. The citizens have been suffering before now. Let me state it. Let me restate what I, what I read. How, sir? How? Please, let me say something. Please, about seven plus years ago, um, how much was Naira to a dollar? If you take a thousand Naira and go to the market, won't you be able to get things, you know, and be satisfied with things you have gotten? If you take a thousand Naira to the market, won't you be satisfied with what you have gotten? Somebody, I read it somewhere that somebody posted that. Today's 5,000 Naira was yesterday's 20,000 Naira. And I'm saying the person is absolutely correct. Absolutely. Absolutely and totally correct. And then let me ask you, the insecurity that has bedveiled the nation, wasn't it only in Bruno State in how many years ago? Let us come out and tell us the truth. Hiding behind any marks is not ideal. Let us come ourselves. Come out and tell ourselves the truth. My Lord, still we have people who will vote, who will still vote things when we resemble this failed government. <laughs> My dear, uh, the worst government in all the world is the all progressive Congress led government. Okay. At the end of the day, Nigerians, everybody don't carry hand for head, talk, say, make we vote wisely, make we vote wisely, make we vote wisely. I beg, he don't do. He don't do. He don't do. Our momo don't do. Let us come out and do the right thing and do the needful come 2023 so that at the end of the day, we are going to be come out and say and beat our hands on our chest. When your, maybe your children will come and say, this, okay, mommy and daddy, what did you do now? When the government was bad and was not working well, you will come out and say, you did what you do. You voted for, you know, the right person. And that was what you could do as a, a what's it called, a citizen of or electorate. And that is what you could do. You make sure you voted the right person. In. You didn't vote along religious, ethnic, or favoritism lines. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.